So my name is Rose Munge. I'm a pediatrician. I'm also a pediatric hematologist and oncologist. What that means is I specialize in treating children who have blood disorders and cancers. Worldwide, globally, September has been set aside as the Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. The reason that that happens is so that we can raise awareness about what childhood cancer is, let people know, um, you know, let people know that there is treatment, that there are treatment options, that they are curable. Okay, because there is a, a misconception out there that cancer does not happen in children, and that if it does, it's not curable. So that is what the point of this month is about. It is celebrated globally, so it's not only in Kenya, it's also worldwide. Children tend to get mostly blood cancers. Okay, so that tends to be the majority of the cancers that we see. They also have a high percentage of brain tumors. We also tend to get what we call solid tumors. So that's cancer of the kidneys, cancer of the muscles, cancer of the bones. They also happen, but the majority is cancers of uh, the blood. So that's, that's the difference between childhood cancers and adult cancers. I cannot tell you this is the cause. A lot of the time it is, it is genetic. Sometimes it's genetic, sometimes it just occurs without a real... Like we cannot give you an answer. Uh, the way you would say for an adult, oh, you're smoking too much or you're drinking too much and that has led to it. Sometimes in children we may not be able to give you an answer. Sometimes it's because of an infection that you got earlier. Sometimes it's just something that happened on its own. It is really difficult to pin down and say, you specifically got this because you did this. this, this. So it's usually not something you can pin down. Uh, that, and that's the difference between adult cancers and childhood cancers. So childhood cancers tend to present like a lot of other childhood illnesses. So if you have a child who has been having recurrent infections, infections that keep coming over and over and you're not really getting a resolution, fevers, if the child keeps getting fevers on and over and over and over, that is something we look at. If they get swellings, okay, so swellings in the neck, swellings in the belly, uh, swellings on a limb, and you've gone to a hospital, there's been treatment given, but there's no real change that you're seeing, that should alert you that there's something else going on. They also tend to have uh, reduced appetite, they have sometimes vomiting, sometimes the energy to play, because children are usually active and they're running around, so if they have less energy, they want to sleep all the time. The other really big marker is weight loss. If your child is not gaining weight the way they are supposed to be gaining weight, they've been sick a couple of times and then you're just seeing consistent weight loss with a lot of swelling, uh, sweating associated with swelling, then that should tell you that there's something going on. So you first, you go to a facility, if you don't see improvement in the symptoms, then you seek for a second opinion. Thank you.
so we're treating we, we see both children and teenagers okay so from the age of uh, one year all the way up to the age of 17 years come under my care depending on the type of cancer that uh, the child has we offer chemotherapy we do radiotherapy and then we do the surgical part that is necessary for a lot of solid tumors. So the diagnosis is also done, this, this, the lab is pretty decent and we get good diagnostics from the lab. We have the CT scans and the MRIs that help with the diagnosis as well. We also have the PET scan. All of those together help us make a diagnosis and make a plan of treatment. And then there's also access to the cyber knife, um, which for some cases is beneficial for children. Oh, I like that question. Children have a much, much better survival rate than adults when it comes to cancers. With a caveat being, of course, you want to have caught it early enough and to follow the treatment appropriately. But all factors considered, we're talking about 80% of most childhood cancers will be cured right compared to the adult population so this is because uh, the types of cancers that they get are, tend to be quite sensitive to chemotherapy and the we are able to give much higher doses than we do in adults and therefore that gives us much 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 better outcomes the cure rates are really good for some leukemias it's up to 95 percent for a lot of the cancers it's 80 percent so what that's telling us if, if you have if you can diagnose it on time and you start your treatment, then the likelihood of a cure is pretty good. Yeah, so there's always hope. We are always approaching it with hope. Cancer in children is curable. <laughs>